The problem we have with these firearms is they are, in essence, homemade. Now, for me, that's a danger. We don't know what's going to happen when we load it with a live round. Rolling onto the bridge. So we're going to have to take it stage by stage and start off with no propellant and no projectile. Firing! All loading. Looks intact, Master. Yep, looks intact. Now they've established that the gun is functional. Need a rod. OK. Tony attempts to fire a blank cartridge to check the gun can withstand an increase in chamber pressure. OK, loading. Firing! So we know that it's actually capable of discharging a cartridge. We're going to do a live round on it now. So the crunch point is firing the first live round. Yeah. I cannot see the plastic mechanism of these firearms withstanding the chamber pressures that are going to be generated with live ammunition. To ensure that the bullet goes down the barrel, the force behind it has to be equal to the force that's been pushed back on it. So if it's not locked in, then everything comes back and it blows up in your face. For the final test... Right, we'll do the soap. Tony will use ballistic soap to measure the lethal force of the gun. Now, the ballistic soap is designed to replicate skin and muscle tissue. OK, loading with one modified live round. Fine! How far in have we gone? Possibly halfway. Halfway, I'm wow. I'm going with there. In depth. That is a depth of 15 centimetres. Wow. Six inches. That's a, a lot deeper than I was expecting it to go. That's lethal. That's a dead man. DC Hall speaking, how can I help? Uh, Mike, an update on the 3D guns. We fired it using an improvised projectile and it functioned. And what we found was that penetrated ballistic soap to a depth of 15 centimetres. OK. So that's, that's, that's quite a depth. Yeah. And yep. it would be our opinion. It's a viable prohibited weapon. Excellent. Music to my ears. No problem, Mike. Thank you.